With regards to our elders, Islam also gives a great status to the ulama ikram, the scholars as well. These are people that we should look up to. These are people that we should respect. These are the people that we take for granted. We don't give them the status that they are due. It's narrated that there was a person, he considered himself a great sinner. He considered himself a great sinner and he was at the riverbank and he was washing his hands and his face. And the river, you can imagine the river was effectively flowing. Imagine the river flowing in this direction. And he was washing his hands and face here. And he noticed that Sayyidina Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, Rahmatullahi ta'ala, he came and he started to perform wuzu further up the river. And he realized that his washing his hands and his face, the water that he was washing his hands and face in was flowing towards him. So he had this mindset and he thought to himself that my, I'm such a gunagar, I'm such a sinner that I'm washing my dirty hands, I'm washing my dirty face and the water is flowing towards this great pious person and he's performing wuzu. As soon as he saw this, he got up and he went down the river. He went past him out of respect, out of respect for the, for the great Imam, he went past him and washed his hands further on down the river because he did, he had this thought, this exorch, he had this thought to himself that I don't want my dirty hands, my, the water coming off my dirty hands going towards this great scholar. And it said that this person, he was greatly rewarded. That when he passed away, someone saw him in a dream and asked him, how have you been dealt with? And he said, by, res by the blessing of showing respect, showing respect to Sayyidina Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, Allah Azza wa Jalla has forgiven all the sins that I have. Unfortunately, we don't respect the ulama akram. We don't respect the scholars. We don't respect the Imam Sahib. We take them for granted. We do not realize the great status that they have. These people have sacrificed their lives for us. Sacrificed great efforts in acquiring that knowledge of the deen. I know scholars that have only recently passed away. Only recently passed away that learned the knowledge of the deen for 23, 24 years. They could have done a degree. They could have been a doctor, they could have been a lawyer, they could have been a barrister, they could have been all these things. But they decided that this, learning the knowledge of the deen, is what we should do. And we need to learn to respect our elders, respect our scholars. I have a personal experience. I was traveling in Pakistan on a train. And Dawah Islam used to have an annual ishtama in Multan. It was a three-day ishtama. And three, for three days, people from all around the world used to come to Multan for this ishtama. And I was traveling on a train to go to the Ishtama. And those of you that have traveled on trains in Pakistan will see that you have the seats, the benches, and they're facing each other, yeah? And it was a long journey, 20, 22 hours, something like this on the train, yeah? And obviously you get tired when you're traveling. And so what we decided to do was, because there wasn't enough space for everybody to lie down, we decided that we put our feet straight. So my feet would be on the seat in front, and that person would have his seat, his feet next to me. So we'd all put our feet straight, so at least we could have a little bit of rest. So I put my feet up, he put his feet up, and he, everybody put the feet up. And we all put our feet up, and we could all have a little bit of rest. But there was this young person next to me, and he wouldn't put his feet up. And I thought to myself, why, why aren't you doing this? You know, you, all right, you're a young lad. I know you're a young lad. I know you're a strong lad, but it's a long journey. Everybody needs rest. And I kept on saying, put your feet. Put your feet up, it's a long I kept, I said it three or four times and he just wouldn't do it. He wouldn't put his feet up. And then the person opposite me smiled. And he said, Khalid bhai, he's not going to put his feet up because opposite him is his teacher. Opposite him is his teacher. And that's a respect for his teacher. He's not going to put his feet next to his teacher. He won't do it. This is the respect that people are taught to have for the teachers. But unfortunately, we don't have this respect. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel.